Yep, that's me, little baby Steffi, in 1988. The sad thing is, if my family lived in China during that time, there may have never been a baby Steffi. China said they were trying to fight a population war and so they had to implement the one-child policy. This policy started in 1979, and then in 1982, the one-child policy was put into China's constitution, until 2015, when the one-child policy finally ended and it was replaced by the two-child policy. In my family, I'm the youngest child. I have a sister who's a few years older than me. So if I was the second-born child, I could have very well been aborted, abandoned, given away. Who knows what would have happened to baby Steffi? I was really happy to finally find a free movie on Amazon Prime, and it is called One Child Nation. It is a documentary about the one-child policy in China. In this documentary, you are going to see a lot of rather informal interviews with midwives, village officials, family planning officials, human traffickers, artists, and journalists. All of these people had firsthand experience with the one-child policy in China. This documentary includes a lot of examples of propaganda that was used during the one-child policy. So songs, books, signs that were made, writings on buildings. It really brought this policy to life so you could see just how crazy it was in China. If you didn't abide by the one-child policy, you could have had your home demolished, your possessions taken. As a woman, you could have been abducted, forced to have a sterilization, forced to have an abortion if you had more than one child. In addition, your baby could have been born alive and then killed. The baby could have been placed in a basket and just left somewhere like a marketplace. Your baby could have been left in the trash, just dead in a bag. It's disgusting. There was human trafficking involved, orphanages, and international adoptions just because of this one-child policy. Whew, I am so glad I do not live in China. This documentary really opened my eyes to the realities of this horrible policy. And I would bet that the two-child policy is not really any better. I was jotting down notes while I was watching the documentary. I was noticing a lot of the comments that the people being interviewed would say, and they were really unsettling. These are things that people say when they're about to lose their freedoms. I heard, I had no choice. The policy was very strict. The party is infallible. Necessary. Policy is policy. I stood and watched. We only executed orders. That's why it's so important to awaken your brain and know what's going on. So you don't just resort to making comments like this and say, oh well, couldn't do anything. You gotta take action. When your rights and your freedoms are being taken away, you are the one who needs to fight for yourself. I would say this documentary definitely did its job in portraying what the one-child policy was really like. However, I would have liked to see interviews from women who were victims of the one-child policy. So women who maybe were forced to have abortions or sterilizations. That would have been really eye-opening to see. In addition, this filmmaker, she was interviewing a lot of her own family members, so that seemed kind of biased. I would have liked to see more of a variety of people being interviewed, maybe people who would have different perspectives. And sometimes when you're interviewing family, they might not tell you the complete truth just because they're a little worried about what you might think. One thing to note, this movie is mostly made up of subtitles because the people being interviewed did not speak English. So if you don't like to read, then you may not enjoy this movie very much. If you're curious to learn more about the one-child policy, I would definitely suggest this movie for you. I hope you really enjoyed my movie review video today. Please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, be free.